good Saturday morning to you, and uh, thank you for, for being here today. Again, just uh, want to invite you uh, to worship tomorrow with us at Poplar Road Baptist Church. Uh, we are located on Poplar Tent Road, 3476 Poplar Tent, uh, just up the road from uh, Fry Skating Rink, and uh, love to have you, but um, if you have a church home, don't want to take you from that, you'd be in, uh, uh, in your church home, and uh, you uh, be sure and be there, um, but um, otherwise, uh, we'd love to have you uh, join with us uh, or online, and again, remember... Uh, as I've said, I guess every Saturday, Sunday at t church attendance on Sunday is a Saturday decision. And so I hope you make that decision today. All right, go ahead and get your Bible and turn with me to the 46th Psalm. Uh, going to be finishing it up today and uh, dealing uh, with uh, a passage here that uh, really requires more than the 10 minutes or so uh, that I have. And that is, uh, and part of that reason is because uh, of all the application we can make of these last three verses. Uh, there is, uh, I think, a, a past um, application as the Israelites could look out uh, and see uh, the uh, defeated Assyrians. Uh, they could uh, see the, uh, the, the future. Uh, there's future uh, application here is that I think it applies, uh, speaks of uh, the, the millennial reign uh, of, uh, of Jesus Christ. Uh, and then there is a, a current uh, application for you and I uh, today. And so I'm going to, uh, I think, focus mainly on the, on the current, uh, how these verses, uh, how this part of this psalm can help us uh, today uh, and try to briefly uh, throw in just a little bit uh, of uh, the future uh, application. If you have any uh, knowledge uh, of future events and what the Bible uh, says about the end times, I think you will uh, see some of that uh, yourself just by hearing, uh, reading the words uh, here in these last few verses. Uh, and so uh, let's jump in here uh, at uh, verse 8. Come, behold the works of the Lord, what desolations he hath made uh, on earth. Uh, and so we uh, have, again, that uh, all, all three, um, I think, applications here uh, are kind of, uh, you know, for obviously for the Israelites, um, when uh, the statement says, come, Behold the works of the Lord, what desolation he has made on the earth. Uh, they could see the victory uh, that had been won, the annihilation uh, of uh, the Assyrian army. Uh, I think the future uh, application would be uh, to the armies uh, at, uh, at Armageddon who will uh, be destroyed uh, there as they come up against uh, the Lord. Uh, and then we have again our, uh, our present application by uh, understanding that you and I uh, are in a constant uh, battle. Uh, we are in a war. Uh, we can never, uh, never forget that. Uh, we are literally at a war um, uh, for, uh, for our souls. Uh, we see uh, all around us the death and destruction, uh, sin, uh, the rulers uh, of this world, um, the evil uh, that is in them, uh, what the Bible calls wickedness in high places. Um, again, um, we see evil people. Uh, we see uh, all kinds of, uh, of of evil events on our news. Um, you know, everywhere we look, uh, we we see evil uh, and wickedness, and uh, and Satan, as the Bible says, roaming to and fro, seeking whom he may devour. Uh, we see just a a constant ongoing uh, battle. 
But as believers, and only as believers, if you don't know Jesus Christ, you, uh, you're part of the problem. I, I hate to say it that way, but uh, you're part of the evil system. But as believers, uh, we, uh, we have the victory uh, of, uh, of, uh, of Calvary. Uh, we have, uh, again, we have uh, the, the warfare that Paul describes in the book of Ephesians as we put on the, uh, the breastplate of, of righteousness, as we put on the full armor uh, of God. We know that uh, that God ultimately uh, fights our battles, as we've seen in the very first verse. God is our refuge and our strength. Uh, and um, so we uh, have uh, that uh, that observation that you and I, uh, you know, we can, uh, you know, we may not be like the Israelites and able to get up the next morning and walk out uh, and see the uh, Assyrian army laid ruin uh, at our gates, uh, but every day when the sun comes up for a Christian, uh, that's one more day uh, that we have uh, fought the battle and won, uh, and we go out uh, each day uh, to fight the good fight uh, and to live for Jesus Christ, and so uh, we have that uh, that present uh, uh, present application uh, for us as well. Uh, now, uh, as uh, we pick up here uh, in, uh, in verse 9, after telling us to come and behold, uh, we we see that uh, you know again that uh, we have uh, this uh, this great uh, testimony that uh, he has provided for us. He maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth. Uh, he breaketh the bow and cutteth the spear in sunder. Uh, he burneth the chariot in fire. Uh, and so we see an obvious uh, future. Uh, application as we see uh, the Bible talks about in those days as they beat their uh, plow hooks into into shares and so uh, that the end of uh, of uh, of battle uh, will uh, will come uh, and so uh, the, the the day will come uh, when as believers uh, the battle will be one uh, and be still and know uh, that I am God uh, as um, as we are aware uh, of the battles around us and the evil uh, let's uh, I said earlier uh, I guess two days ago now uh, we need to kind of commit that uh, that uh, at least that first verse God is our refuge and strength very present help uh, in trouble therefore we will not fear um, we need to kind of commit that to our hearts uh, but here are a couple more verses that uh, I think are good for us to uh, to cling to uh, and again one of the things that uh, is great here uh, is so many people think of this when they think of the Psalms they think of the 23rd Psalm oh there's some real pretty uh, flowery words there there's some good theology there's some good uh, principles for living uh, found in the in the book of Psalms and here uh, are, a, uh, are a few of those principles. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will uh, be exalted uh, in the earth. Um, and so uh, he, he's telling us, uh, I think, um, I, I'm going to paraphrase this uh, for me, calm down. Um, yeah, there's a battle outside the gates. I can, uh, you know, almost hear him saying this to the Israelites. Yeah, I know the Assyrians are surrounding you. I know uh, you are facing annihilation. Be still uh, and know uh, that I am God, um, and that uh, we put uh, put God uh, in His right place uh, in our life. That uh, He be uh, exalted uh, among. Uh, the heathen. That is our task, uh, is that in spite of the evil uh, and the wickedness that uh, we are surrounded by, uh, we are called on to exalt uh, the very name uh, of God, to lift him up so that others uh, will see him. And, uh, and I think one of the things that sometimes we overlook um, or, or forget about is that uh, some of those circumstances and, and things that come into our life, uh, God has allowed those things uh, to, to happen in our life uh, so that the lost people, the lost of this world, will see 
how we handle that and how we do put uh, our confidence and our uh, and our faith um, in God uh, as a testimony to Him uh, that we don't crumble uh, under the pressure, that we don't crack um, under the pressure, that we stand true, that we um, continue to serve Him and to place our faith in him uh, as uh, not my saying but as somebody said anybody can sail the ship uh, in smooth waters but it takes a captain a sailor uh, to sail uh, in the storm uh, and that's what this world is looking at from us is that uh, that we would uh, in the face of crisis be still uh, and exalt uh, the Lord why can we do that how do we do that well verse 11 uh, tells us uh, how, why uh, the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob uh, is our refuge. Uh, and so uh, the psalmist says that we can be still. We can uh, trust him. We can rest in him, put our confidence in him. Uh, we can uh, have our faith uh, in the Lord because he is with us. We don't. We can be still, uh, as this verse says. We can be still uh, because we know uh, that he's going to end all wars. We know that ultimately uh, he is victorious. We know that ultimately uh, he wins uh, the battles. And, and even though, uh, even when overwhelming trouble and anxiety uh, come crashing in on our life, God wants us to be still, uh, to uh, fight off the discouragement, the anxiety, the worry, the stress, uh, and just to, to trust in Him, uh, to put our faith uh, in Him. Listen, I'm not, a, I'm not crazy. I, I know that it's easier for me to sit here this morning uh, and say that uh, than it is to do that uh, for me as well. Uh, but I'm, uh, what I'm telling you this morning is what God desires. I'm not telling you what I uh, am able to do myself. He desires it of me as he does you. Uh, and, and, and I try, and sometimes I succeed, uh, but sometimes I don't. Sometimes stress and worry uh, get the better of me. Uh, and so, but that is, this is the gold standard. Uh, this is what God desires uh, in our life, that we trust him and commit ourselves to him and allow Allow him and wait for him to bring uh, his purpose, to bring uh, fulfillment uh, to those circumstances. Uh, most of us, uh, if we're honest, have learned that uh, and, and know. Uh, that uh, that many times it's the it's the hard times of life uh, where we learn uh, the greatest lessons, um, and we have to remember here, uh, as he says in verse ten, I will be exalted. God's ultimate purpose is that He be glorified, uh, and so uh, as um, each day we go about our life and we uh, we are able to withstand the the battles and the conflict and the trouble of life, we discover, as he says in his word, that his grace uh, is sufficient uh, and his desire is to be exalted. And so as we wrap this up this week, uh, I hope uh, that'll help you. Uh, and, and as we go about our life, that we will simply be still uh, and know that he is the Lord uh, and that we will strive that in all that we do, uh, that he would be exalted. All right. Hope that helps you, encourages you for today. And I uh, hope to see you tomorrow uh, in the house of the Lord. Again, we meet at 10 o'clock and uh, we're meeting in our, in our family life building. And so there's plenty of room uh, for folks to spread out and uh, do all the social distancing they need. Um, and um, actually, we've got our chairs set up further apart than the six foot uh, that the CDC recommends. And so we'd love to have you. All right. Have a great day and we'll see you back here Monday morning morning.